I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we are back in London, England, as the UFC continues to make its presence felt here in the UK. And the crowd on hand as usual here tonight in London. When the UFC expanded, the UFC started going all around the world and becoming a global sport. London was a target area. England was a target country because you understood how much the fans care about sport. You watch it in the football games. You Ooh. watch it in the football. You watch it in the way that they show up. The UFC approached this place. The UFC targeted England. We went there, and every time the fans showed up. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Play kick checked nicely by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Head kick lands. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Beautiful strike. There he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Big body to land. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Not there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Oh, what a punch. Oh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Had him working at trying to shut the liver down. Set up the punches. Ooh, blocks the shot. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, that right hand is on 
point, they continue to exchange. What a body kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. When he drops his hand, throw a head kick. 30 seconds to go. Oh, big head kick lands. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, a huge block there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Jay? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, spinning back fist. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. And he landed the right hand there. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Straight punch lands. Just out of range with that right hook. Lands with the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Beautiful head kick. Left side. Kicks there. Three minutes now to go in round two. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace. An uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Liver kick, what a punch. And he continues to work the body here. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Ooh wee. Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Going orthodox now. Another shot lands upstairs. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Hands higher, hands higher. Throws the right hand there. 
there. Oh, big head kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Counters with a left. Oh, Superman punch is good. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. What a tricky head kick. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Just a slip there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Big kick lands. Big body kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Punch is blocked. Just over three minutes now to go. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, big punch lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Try to establish that jab. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lee's 
Corso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Nice head kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Blocks the shot. Big power shot there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He blocks the punch. Big kick. Big head kick land. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Watch these to the body. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice lands. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Looking to land the right just out of range. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Nice counter shot there. Nice. Sneaky head kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Obvious redness on the right side of his body.
Nice punch there by Lee. Powerful leg kick lands. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Slips. That shot blocked by Lee. Real sneaky by him. 90 seconds to go now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Okay. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Ooh, what a punch. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, good kicks. Oh, thunderous leg kick. Lifted a little bit. Tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Out of range with that one. Under a minute to go in round four. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Look at the angle of that nice body. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Can't take many of those. You better check. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Let's get some offense. Big kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Placed in time kick there by Lee. Big leg kick lands. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Turn it around. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice punch lands. Kick is blocked. Oops. Trying to double up on that jab. Big head kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice kick. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish and you're getting an L? You gotta go to the main Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight.
Well, he misses with the left punch there. Liver kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Nice head kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Beautiful kick. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Real nice body to land. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just missed with the left there. Hey. Oh, oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. <laughs> Big punch lands through the middle. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big kick land. Oh! Oh! He finally struck to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Beautiful body kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Well placed with the kick. Oh, nice hand speed as the counter with the right is good. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world.